Now most of the time when we talk about creatures from Subnautica, we either talk about something that is huge, or something that is very dangerous, or of course both. But in today's situation, we will be talking about a creature which is neither large nor dangerous and yet is very interesting and has some major implications and importance to the overall narrative of the game. Today we will be talking about the peeper, one of the perhaps most iconic fish from Subnautica and one which has a lot of importance to all of the life that's sprawling on the Subnautica planet. Today I will be telling you everything we know about these creatures, where you can find them, all the interesting implications they have on the narrative, their appearance, and also any other interesting points of trivia that I'm able to dig up. Now as with all of the lore videos of course, this video will contain spoilers to the main story of Subnautica so if you haven't had the chance to experience it yet and you don't want to have it spoiled for you, I strongly recommend clicking off and coming back to the video later. Now with that out of the way, grab your heat blade, get ready to cook up some fish, and let's go. Now first of all, if you aren't that well accustomed to the story of Subnautica, you might be wondering why we're talking about the peeper. I mean on the very surface, it is just a small passive fauna species which seems to live mostly in the safe shallows, runs away from the player or any large predators when approached and gives approximately mediocre food and water sources when consumed, so really on the surface there doesn't seem to be anything special about the peeper. Well, besides its peepers. And yet, when you first scan it, your PDA will say, while the peeper is well adapted to survive in shallow waters, a number of its features serve no discernible purpose. It would appear to be just as well suited to survive in deeper waters and is somewhat more intelligent than the usual small herbivore. Aha, uh -huh, so there is a mystery to look into. Well, let's start from the top though. Now looking at the peepers individually, they are very small with a body of mainly dark blue color that turns somewhat greenish towards the tail and a very small head which is composed of the ginormous and very iconic pair of yellow eyes, one from each side, which, considering the fish is otherwise flat, must take up a rather solid chunk of its head, so I really wonder where all of that intelligence mentioned in the PDA comes from. It is also worth noting that even though the peeper's eyes don't respond to light if you shine on them with a flashlight, they will actively blink every once in a while with a pair of eyelids that close down in the middle. The peepers have two small fins, one at the top and one at the bottom of the body, and a somewhat more powerful tail which they use to propel themselves up to a surprisingly swift speed. The rest of their body is stopped with a small yellowish beak at the center of their head and several holes which are dotting their body alongside its tail which do somewhat resemble gills. It is also worth noting that it leaves two very iconic trails behind it wherever it goes. In terms of behavior, these things are mostly active during the day or you can even see them jumping out and back into water and at night they seem to get a bit more cool and rest off a bit, however they will still run away from the player and any larger predators such as the stalker for example and as an interesting fact, they do sometimes close their eyes when running away from the player as in an attempt to make themselves less visible because the eye is somewhat bioluminescent. Now that seems to be all the information we can learn about the peepers at the surface. However, if we travel down into the very depths of Subnautica, into the chamber with the Sea Emperor Leviathan, we can see that that chamber is in fact filled with more peepers and this is where we can learn a whole lot more about the species and its importance to the entire ecosystem of the planet. Now while the peepers are not themselves immune to the Kara virus, in fact death commonly occurs within 4 days from infection, upon coming in contact with the enzyme 42, which can be emitted by the sea emperor, they show some signs of remission even though the symptoms quickly reoccur again. What the precursors however discovered is that these fish show very advanced learning behaviors and also the ability and capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. Now as incredible as it may seem, many of the planet's peepers were actually trained by the Sea Emperor Leviathan 
to carry and distribute Enzyme 42 all around the planet using the air ducts which filter water from the surface back into the Sea Emperor's tank down below. In fact, this seems to be the only and sole reason why any life has been able to survive on the planet, all thanks to these little guys being able to carry it over. When a peeper is carrying some samples of the Enzyme 42, it will leave a slightly different brownish trail behind itself and actively approach other creatures, seemingly in an attempt to distribute this enzyme, sometimes, unfortunately, due to simply being eaten and consumed by said other creature. In general, these things would get sucked in by the air ducts at the surface, travel down to the tank of the Emperor where they approach the creature, they will consume and absorb some of the enzymes expelled from the Emperor, at which point they will return back through the same vents to distribute it up into surface and around the crater. Now in terms of peepers themselves, this is basically everything that we know, however, there is still a level of extra information we can go into based on its presumed history. If you ever looked at fish like the Oculus or the Eye Eye, you may have noticed that there are some similarities to the peeper with some species bigger than with the others. Now upon scanning a peeper, a Reginald and an Eye Eye, you will get a PDA scan for the Alpha Peeper species, which is a hypothesized very recent, well, relatively, common ancestor to all of the mentioned fish above. Supposedly, several million years ago, the Alpha Peeper was a species of a small, common prey fish, which has over the time developed patches of photosensitive cells all around its body, which eventually grew into be primitive eyes, and from there, over hundreds of thousands of years, developed into what we now see in the world of Subnautica, within several different species of fish. Theoretically speaking, this puts the ancestors of the peeper all the way back into the era of the gargantuan leviathan and of some of the oldest creatures that we know of which have inhabited the world of Subnautica. Finally, just to end this video off, a few interesting points of trivia about this fish. Some of its sounds that it emits when escaping the player or just roaming around the world were actually created by the former sound designer Simon Chelinski by simply editing his own voice, as well as the initial fact that back in the original concept art, the name for a peeper was actually just Aquabird. So hey, I guess in the end it always comes down to the good old saying, don't judge a book by its cover, because even a small fish with a giant eye can sometimes save an entire planet's ecosystem. But anyways, with that, that was all of the information I was able to dig up. This was a requested video by you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting or subscribing and let me know what other piece of lore you would like me to take a look at next. If you have any facts which I forgot to mention or a theory that you would like to go into, please make sure to leave that down in the comments as well. I would always be interested to start a new discussion and people who are interested in this topic anyways would definitely like to read it too. With that, I'm gonna wish you a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.